Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And the Mass today is offered for Ruth Datu in Thanksgiving. I'd like to pray for all those who are suffering, particularly from COVID or from any other illness at this time. Hoy la misa es ofrecida por Ruth Datu y quiero también pensar y orar por todas las personas enfermas de COVID o que son, están afectados por esto o cualquier otra enfermedad. Y hoy celebramos San Elis El Isabel Ana Seton. Um, today we're celebrating Elizabeth Ann Seton. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Christe Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Let us pray. Oremos. O God, who crowned with the gift of true faith St. Elizabeth Ann Seton's burning zeal to find you, Grant by her intercession and example that we may always seek you with diligent love and find you in daily service with sincere faith. O oh Dios, que coronaste con el don de la verdadera fe a Santa Isabel Ana Siton, quien ardientemente deseaba encontrarte, concédenos por su intercesión y ejemplo buscarte con caridad solicita y encontrarte por medio de una fe sincera en nuestro servicio diario, por nuestro Señor Jesucristo, tu Hijo, que vive y reina contigo en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, y es Dios por los siglos de los siglos.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let no one deceive you. The person who acts in righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Whoever sins belongs to the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. Indeed, the Son of God was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is begotten by God commits sin, because God's seed remains in him. He cannot sin because he is begotten by God. In this way, the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. No one who fails to act in righteousness belongs to God, nor anyone who does not love his brother. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and all those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. The mountains shout with them for joy before the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. El Señor esté con ustedes. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Juan. En aquel tiempo, estaba Juan el Bautista con dos de sus discípulos y fijando los ojos en Jesús que pasaba, dijo, Este es el Cordero de Dios. Los dos discípulos, al oír estas palabras, Siguieron a Jesús. Él se volvió hacia ellos, y viendo que los seguían, les preguntó, ¿Qué buscan? Ellos le contestaron, ¿Dónde vives, Rabí? Rabí significa maestro. Él les dijo, vengan y ve a ver. Fueron pues, vieron dónde vivía, y se quedaron con él ese día. Eran como las cuatro de la tarde. Andrés, hermano de Simón Pedro, era uno de los que oyeron lo que Juan el Bautista decía y siguieron a Jesús. El primero a quien encontró Andrés fue su hermano Simón y le dijo, hemos encontrado al Mesías, que quiere decir el ungido. Lo llevó a donde estaba Jesús, y este, fijando en él, 
la mirada, le dijo, tú eres Simón, hijo de Juan, tú te llamarás Kefas, que significa Pedro, es decir, roca. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. John turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So he went and saw so they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Palabra del Señor. We are in the final week of the Christmas season, that is to say the second week, and it culminates in the baptism of the Lord on Sunday, after which begins ordinary time. So we're still in the Christmas time, although we hear about Jesus beginning his mission. So the already adult Jesus, and that's because there's not much news on the in-between years. We call them, therefore, the hidden years. We know very little about the hidden years, just um, that they went to Egypt for a time to escape from Herod. And then when Jesus was 12 years old, they were already living in Nazareth, and then they um, went up to the temple, and Jesus remained behind, unbeknownst to his parents. So we don't really know anything else about those years, which were made hidden to us, years of family life. And so it's a good time to think about the hidden life of Jesus and how he sanctified family life by living... Um, 30 years in family life and only three years in public life. That is to say, live 10 times longer in family life, in humble, the humility of, ha of family life and, and working with his hands as a carpenter, which he learned from Joseph, um, in only three years, although very, admittedly a very full three years, um, evangelizing Israel and then saving the world with his sacrifice. And so when we celebrate Christmas, we're always aware that Jesus b was born in order to uh, teach us the way, which is the gospel, and to save us by his death and resurrection. And yet we still have Christmas with us, thinking of the child Jesus and that, that beautiful family life. And today we also think about a saint, Elizabeth Ann Seton, an American saint, she was not born Catholic, um, but she was of um, good society on the East Coast, good uh, society among uh, Anglicans, Episcopalians. But her husband got sick, and they traveled to Italy for some, um, to, to order to get, get some health treatments there. And there she encountered the Catholic Church. Her husband died in Italy, shortly after this long and difficult trip. Um, but she uh, became fascinated by the Catholic faith. And she saw a Eucharistic procession, or no, she saw, I think, Jesus being brought to the sick, but they used to do it with <clears throat> quite a bit of uh, ceremony in that time. An altar boy ringing the bell through the streets and people kneeling down as, they, as the Blessed Sacrament passed. And she also felt herself kneeling down and she wanted to be able to receive one day the Eucharist. She knew something, it was something very special. And so she learned more about the Catholic faith. When she came back to the United States, she uh, announced to her family that she's going to become a Catholic. 
and her good Episcopalian family was not pleased at all with that. So basically she was ostracized from her family. But she's like the disciples in today's gospel who at all costs wanted to follow the Lord. And they received a, a calling that would uh, change their lives forever and change them from being fishers of fish to being fishers of men. So this is the power of the call of God which Elizabeth Ann Seton felt and responded to. And even though she was ostracized from her family and from the, the high society of New York, she was able to go um, at the invitation of an archbishop, I think in Baltimore, and, and begin to um, found schools and her congregation of sisters, I think the Sisters of the Sacred Heart of St. Joseph, um, a teaching order, so they could uh, teach in the, in the schools that she founded. So she's a, a, a saint who made a great journey. Yesterday we thought about the, the, the Magi making their great journey, but wasn't Elizabeth Seton's journey even greater in a sense, or at least as great, because she made such a, a religious journey that was not easy to make, that involved um, losing her family, basically, but you know, her, I think a number of her family members followed her into the Catholic Church. Um, but she gave up everything in order to follow Christ, her one treasure, just like um, Andrew and John and Peter did and the other disciples of the Lord. So let us do the same in this new year. Let us give up everything in order to follow Jesus because he is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the one who gives us every good thing. Every good thing comes to us through Jesus Christ. We didn't earn any of it, but he earned it all by his sacrifice, by his life, suffering, and death, and resurrection. We have everything in Christ. We have eternal life, which Elizabeth Ann Seton was so enamored of in her later years, looking forward to going to heaven. We should all be looking forward to going to heaven. That's what following Jesus uh, leads us to ultimately. Hoy hemos uh, pasado uh, la, la epifanía, pero estamos todavía en tiempo de Navidad, la segunda semana de Navidad, hasta el próximo domingo, que es el bautismo del Señor. Y hoy ya vemos a Cristo grande, ya crecido, porque una, un cambio tan brusco de niño Jesús a Jesús adulto, es que no tenemos noticias en el Evangelio sobre la vida en medio de su infancia y de, de, de su edad adulta, excepto que fueron a Egipto y a los, diez, a los 12 años uh, se quedó en el templo um, y después de tres días sus padres lo encontraron. Uh, el resto se queda en el silencio um, con uh, el resumen del evangelista Lucas que estaba creciendo el niño en uh, edad, en estatura, en uh, sabiduría ante, ante Dios y, al, y los hombres. Entonces tenemos que imaginar los, uh, los años escondidos del Señor, son años escondidos. Jesús um, en el Evangelio lo vemos evangelizando a Israel, sufriendo, muriendo y resucitando y ascendiendo al cielo en el Evangelio. Y pasó tres años haciendo su misión pública y su misterio pascual. Tres años. ¿Y cuántos años vivió la vida escondida? Treinta años. O sea, Diez, diez veces más que, uh, que los años que conocemos bien, ¿no? Eso es importante porque está diciendo Dios, Padre, que la, la vida familiar es importante, es muy importante. Aunque no hay muchas noticias que contar, tal vez, que es una vida íntima, escondida de, de los ojos de los demás, uh, pero es una vida muy importante para nuestra santificación. Entonces Jesús pasó 30 años en su vida familiar, escondida. Y 
y después uh, se reveló a Israel y por tres años trabajó mucho. Pero antes estaba trabajando también, más bien con sus manos, como carpintero, con sus manos juntas para orar con su familia, en conversación santa con su familia. Y estaba creciendo en la estatura y sabiduría ante Dios y los hombres. Estaba mirando a José para saber cómo ser hombre. Ya con sus conocimientos divinos sabía, pero quiso saber también de la manera que nosotros aprendemos las cosas. O sea, mirando, oyendo, uh, imitando los ejemplos que tenemos ante nuestros ojos. Entonces, plenamente humano, plenamente divino es nuestro Jesús. Y um, hoy estamos contemplando una santa americana que uh, es Isabel Ana Seton, que era buena uh, anglicana, o sea, ep episcopaliana en la sociedad alta de, de New York. Y era muy buena, de muy, muy buena familia que practicaba bien su fe protestante, pero... Uh, Uh, su, se enfermó su esposo, el, el señor Seton, y escucharon que había posibilidad de un buen tratamiento en Italia y fueron por, uh, por nave, uh, na, navío, uh, este viaje, pasaron por Atlántico, pero se, él se empeoró en su salud y se murió Des, poco tiempo de, después de llegar en Italia, pero ella se quedó uh, hospedada por una familia católica y estaba impresionada con la fe católica, muy, interesan, muy interesada. Y un día vio pasar en, en la calle un sacerdote llevando la Santa Comunión, pero con mucha ceremonia, con un monaguillo tocando una, una campana, y, y todos se arrodillaron uh, ante el, el paso de la Eucaristía. Y ella también sintió ese deseo de arrodillarse porque sentía que era muy importante la Eucaristía, era algo misterioso. Y ap aprendió que era Cristo, según la fe católica. Y ella concibió un gran deseo en su corazón recibir a Cristo en ella también. Entonces, regresar a los, a los Estados Unidos, decidió, dopo un poco de tiempo, de hacerse católica. Y haciendo esto, fue rechazada por su familia, aunque sus hijas y algunos familiares la siguieron en conversión a la Iglesia Católica. Quiso fundar una escuela, pero los protestantes no, no apoyaron a ella porque era ya católica. Entonces, por invitación de un obispo, creo, de Baltimore, fue a fundar una escuela católica, y después otras escuelas, y después fundar una congregación de religiosas, y era re religiosa también. Entonces, era esposa, madre y monja, religiosa. Tuvo una vida muy llena, um, y... y Tenía una, un deseo muy grande para, ser, para ir al cielo también, especialmente hacia el fin de su vida. Entonces, es un admirable santo que hizo una, un viaje grande. Ayer contemplamos a los reyes magos que hicieron viajes grandes para llegar a Cristo. Pero el viaje de Isabel Ana Seaton era muy grande porque tenía que uh, ir contra su mundo, su sociedad, su familia, para entrar a la iglesia católica. Era una, una reina maga, se puede decir, porque ha viajado mucho para um, descubrir Cristo en su plenitud, que está en la iglesia católica y con la Santa Eucaristía. Y llegó a una plenitud de vocación, con su vocación religiosa y fundadora de esta congregación de de la um, 
Sagrado Corazón de San José. Entonces, hoy estamos conscientes que somos en, en camino también nosotros, en nuestro viaje de la vida. Tenemos que llegar al cielo también nosotros. Y este año 2021 es una oportunidad para caminar bien hacia el Señor, alimentado por la Eucaristía. Entonces, con muchos buenos um, deseos y buenas ganas, caminemos bien en el nuevo año, imitando a Santa Isabel en Sitan, imitando a los uh, tres reyes magos, Baltasar, Gaspar y el otro, no me acuerdo. <laughs> so, uh, I know you said it right, but I don't know, you can't hear me. <laughs> uh, y hoy, um, también nosotros, alimentados por la Santa Eucaristía, caminemos. Caminemos fuerte en nuestro camino uh, para agradarle al Señor y llegar algún día al cielo con Isabel Anciton y los Reyes Magos y todos los discípulos de Cristo. Y so today, let's imitate Elizabeth Ann Seton and receive the Eucharist and allow it to nourish us for our journey, our great journey towards heaven, uh, bringing many people with us and to be, be able to join Elizabeth Ann Seton and St. Andrew and St. Peter and St. John and the three wise men to praise God forever in heaven. Orden, hermanos, para que este sacrificio mío y de ustedes sea agradable a Dios Padre Todopoderoso. Señor, mira con bondad los dones que colocamos sobre tu altar en la celebración de Santa Isabel Ana Seton y concédenos por virtud de 
este sacrificio, participar más íntimamente en el misterio de tu Hijo, el que vive y reina por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the, the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaon, Leni sun celi et terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. Santo eres en verdad, Padre, y con razón te alaban todas tus criaturas, ya que por Jesucristo, tu Hijo, Señor nuestro, con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, das vida y santificas todo, y congregas a tu pueblo sin cesar, para que ofrezcan tu honor un sacrificio sin mancha, desde donde sale el sol hasta el ocaso. Por eso, Padre, te suplicamos que santifiques por el mismo Espíritu, estos dones que hemos separado para ti, de manera que se conviertan en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo, Hijo tuyo y Señor nuestro, que nos mandó celebrar estos misterios. Porque Él mismo, la noche en que iba a ser entregado, tomó pan, y dando gracias te bendijo, lo partió, y lo dio a sus discípulos, diciendo, Tomen y coman todos de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. Del mismo modo, acabada la cena, tomó el cáliz, dando gracias te bendijo, y lo pasó a sus discípulos, diciendo, Tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos, para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. Este es el sacramento de nuestra fe. Anunciamos tu muerte, proclamamos tu resurrección. Ven, Señor Jesús. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit 
may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Elizabeth and Seton, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Jose our Bishop, Mark our regional bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Fieles a la recomendación del Salvador y siguiendo su divina enseñanza, nos atrevemos a decir... Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy, no tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concédele la paz y la unidad, tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. La paz del Señor esté siempre con ustedes. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On you stay. Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Quitolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo, dichos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Para afirmar nuestra fe en Jesucristo, verdadero Dios y verdadero hombre en la Santa Eucaristía, digamos nuestro amén. El cuerpo de Cristo. 
and let us reaffirm our faith in Jesus, true God and true man in the most holy Eucharist with our amen. The body of Christ. For those who see in the live stream, la communion spiritual. Jesus mio, creo que estás realmente presente en el Santísimo Sacramento del altar. Te amo por encima de todas las cosas y te deseo en mi alma. Ya que no puedo recibirte sacramentalmente ahora, ven al menos espiritualmente a mi corazón. Y como si ya te hubiese recibido, te abrazo y me uno del todo a ti. No permitas que me separe de ti. Creo en ti, espero en ti, y te amo. Amen. For those following the live stream, here is your spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I can at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. I believe, I hope, and I love you. Amen.
Let us pray. As we partake of the sacrament of our salvation, while recalling the memory of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that we may be inflamed with a burning desire for the heavenly table, and by its power consecrate our life faithfully to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. El Señor esté con ustedes. La bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo, desciende sobre ustedes. La alegría del Señor sea nuestra fuerza, pueden ir en paz. Mater misericordia, vita tu cedo, es pes nostra salve, a te clamamos, exules filia ve, a te suspiramos, Sementes et plentes, in ac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes oculos. Ad nos converte, et je Jesu, benedictum fructum ventris tui, ovi 